Hi, welcome to this quick video. What I'm going to do in this quick video is I'm actually going to measure the hotness of um, Nando's hot sauce. They do an extra hot sauce, but this is their essentially their hot sauce. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it um, on the, the food sense. Um, the food sense is a little box. Um, I'm going to I'm just put my hand on it here, um, but you'll see a, a much better image in a minute. And as I say, I'll be measuring the um, hotness of this Nando sauce. So let me jump straight into it and say. Um, I'll change screen now, but what I'll be talking through is the um, Scoville meter or the food sense, um, the chili sensors. I've got a strip of chili sensors here. Um, I've got a sample, and I actually should describe how I made that sample, which is I took 50 microliters of the chili sauce and I diluted it in 4. Point, um, let me write it here 4.95 milliliters of the um, buffer. The buffer comes with the kit. The reason I did that is originally when I was doing this, I did what's called a one in 10 dilution, um, but the app is pretty smart and the app actually told me, no, um, it's not diluted enough. You need to do one in 100. So I did one in 100 and that's why I've got that 50 microliters in 4.95 um, milliliters. I then um, vortexed it. Um, the vortex and just make sure that I kind of brought it to, um, it's nice and fairly homogenous. So I did actually um, vortex it. Um, and then I'm going to make the measurement um, now. So what I'll do is I'm just going to um, slightly change um, screens here. So I've got the app open. Um, the app is in Bluetooth connection with the um, meter. You'll see me touch, see, touch the meter in a minute. Um, and once I've taken one of the um, sensors, I'll just take um, one of the sensors off here, just fit it in here. Um, take the um, pipette, um, take a quick sample of this. I just need 50 microliters to put onto the actual sensor. So I will do that. I must admit, it's not exactly difficult to do all of this. Um, the next thing I'll then do is, um, I'll just tell the ass, oh, I should do it now actually. Um, go to assay, which I will do. Um, I'm just going to tell it that I did a 1 in 100 dilution and that's it. So now it will um, progress around, make a measurement and I will get a result on my phone. So what it's doing is, and um, this is a technology that we um, originally licensed from the University of Oxford um, uh, from a gentleman called um, Richard Compton. He's a professor there and it's basically doing a measurement on the amount of capsaicin that's actually in the um, sample. So let it get to the end. And the, uh, there we are. And what it says is the Scoville heat units of this is 12,960, which did make sense to me because I originally did a one in 10 dilution. It did tell me to do a, um, a bit more of a dilution. So that's kind of in line with that. And it also says that it's uploaded the data. Um, so I'll just go, click done on that. Now what I'll do now is um, I'm just going to show you a slightly different screen, which I will do here. Um, this is every time we um, every time we make a measurement, the results are shown on the app. And so in this particular case, I got uh, what's it again 12,000. Um, I think it's about 12,000 Scoville heat units but it does also send the data to the cloud as well. So let me just um, do a quick refresh here. And I have the result here. And so then I can actually see the um, raw signal um, up in the cloud as well. So if I was to do a quick summary of um, what we've done here, then is, um, uh, I've prepared the sample of the um, Nando's hot sauce. Um, Nando's hot sauce, um, I did a 1 in 100 dilution. I put the um, 50 microliters of that then onto the sensor. The app ran the meter. The um, result was then shown on the um, phone. And actually the results also then um, go up to the cloud as well. And so I've got a kind of record of um, the 12,000 Scoville units up in the cloud, but I also have the raw data as well. So if you're trying to do sort of traceability, etc., um, I can see, um, you know, who did the result, when it was done and all that sort of um, data as well. 
So I think I would say that if you have any questions um, of ZP on this, um, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Okay, thanks very much.